Welcome to The Author's Journey with number one international best-selling author and in-demand publisher, Rebecca Hall Greider. Today, we'll showcase the works of an amazing best-selling author, find out the story behind their book, and explore ways to bring your message powerfully forward. Now, here's your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. Welcome, everyone. So honored to be here on The Author's Journey with each and every one of you. And today, I know you're going to love our amazing guest. He became a number one international best-selling author, reaching four countries at a best-selling level on in the first few days of bringing his book to the world. So it was really powerfully received. So I know you're going to enjoy our conversation with him. And one of the things I love about our guest is his commitment to really helping others overcome their fear, really step into their truth and be empowered on the journey. So I know you're going to feel that in our conversation today. And one of the tips I like to give in order to help you get the most out of our time together today is to choose to be present, meaning taking a deep breath, becoming focused, centered, and truly open to receiving whatever is here to help support you on your journey. In fact, I encourage you to have a piece of paper, a writing utensil, a pen, marker, crayon, <laughs> paper, however you like to capture information, because that helps you not only stay present, but it helps you listen and really open your ears and your heart to receive because you're actively listening for that tip or that insight or that moment to support you on your journey. And then writing it helps connect your hand and your heart and all of you and really integrate what's being shared. So I encourage you to have your favorite writing utensil and paper ready so you're leaning in with great excitement and anticipation for all that will come to our, forward today in our conversation. Beautiful. So with that, let's take another deep breath, becoming fully present, ready to receive everything that will serve and support you on your journey. Beautiful. Well, I'm excited to introduce Rob Eastman to you. He is a number one international bestselling author, sought after life coach, nonprofit founder, speaker, wrestling coach, youth mentor, extreme athlete, and father. <laughs> so you can see he wears many powerful hats, all in a way to really serve and support people and fully stepping into who they are. He is passionate about helping you overcome any fear and really make great, healthy life choices. Please lean in. Warmly welcome the dynamic and powerful, inspiring Rob Eastman to the show. Welcome. How are you? Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. I am great, and I am thrilled to have you joining us. So welcome, welcome. And I wanted to... Oh, I'm so glad. We always love having you on the show and, and joining us. And I know our listeners get such great value. So excited to have you. And I know this is an especially busy time, you know, after you've launched your book and all the different formats are starting to come out. It gets quite busy. And I appreciate you taking time to lean in and yeah. have this conversation with us while everything's so fresh and, and busy <laughs> out in the world. Yeah. So I'm I grateful to, to be here. Oh, well, I'm, I'm so glad. And I wanted to start our conversation with why. Why is this work that you do, all these different hats you wear, why is that so personally important to you? Well, I struggled from day one in this world with ADHD and fitting in and all these different things. And it is so close to my heart. And once I've got into recovery from addiction because I couldn't manage my mental health as a young kid, it's like I've been working in my community for so long. And I was thinking a few years ago, I'm just like, man, I'm putting in work with all these people, but I have nothing to show for it or no Nothing in writing, if you will, and that's where it brought this book upon that 
I want to be able to help people long after I'm gone, and I believe this book will be will do just that for me. Hmm. I love that, that not only is it a way for you to reach people now, but to reach people on an ongoing basis and part of your legacy that you're creating this yeah. ongoing impact. So I love that that was part of your reason to to bring this forward and have it help and continue to help make a difference. And I'm curious, as this book has gone out, I know it was just recently received. How has that felt? Have you, has it been like everything clicks and it falls into place and this is how it should be? Have there been surprises? Is there a favorite moment? Just what are some of your thoughts about that as it's gone out into the world? Well, as you know, you've, you've read the book. Mm-hmm. It, there was a lot in there and it's a little bit scary because, you know, being vulnerable is a tough thing to do, but I've had nothing but day after day uh, messages, emails of people saying this should be in every home. This is helping my family. This changed my life. And it just reminded me, you know, I was working on one of my chapters, reading my own story, and I'm like, there's no way I'm putting this book out. And uh, my my ghostwriter reminded me, she's like, this is no longer your story. People need to read this. So mm-hmm. it's become everybody's story, and it makes me feel so good that I'm not alone for one, but letting other people know know that they're not alone either. So it's just... It's been an amazing experience I, and I, uh, brings a lot of happiness to my family, to me, and really lights that fire to help me keep going and pushing towards changing the way we view mental health. Mm. So powerful. I love that. I love how she shared that this is no longer your story. What helped you decide, okay, that's right. I'm willing to trust the world with this. I'm willing to be vulnerable, share this, and and give it to the world because you you get that final say. <laughs> how how did you decide? Yes, this is the time. This is the moment. I'm I'm all in. Yeah, it's like like I said, I've been speaking in schools and churches and working with youth for the last 13 years, and I'm real big on walking the talk and. Mm-hmm. When it came down to that point, it's like, if you can't tell your story without shame, then you're not healed. And that Mm. took me on a little journey. And I got to a place where I did some more personal work. And I was like, if this could happen to me, this could happen to anybody. And if I'm not willing to speak up, people are going to stay in the dark. And that's exactly what I'm fighting for, is to let people know that what's happened to you is not your fault, but it is your responsibility to work out of that. And I wanted to be the big push for that. Mm. Well, thank you for leaning in, for being willing to walk your talk and even face some things within yourself on the journey of bringing this book forward and that you persevered and you leaned in and you brought it forward. Can you share the title of your book and a little bit about it? I know it has some pictures in it. I know that it shares your personal journey and there's some great tips and advice in it. So what is the title and I'd love for you to describe maybe one of your favorite parts of the book. Yeah, it is called Warrior in the Garden. Mm-hmm. And that is was an easy pick for me because my whole life I was protected and underprepared. And I got into martial arts about 10 years ago. And there's a saying that says, a student, a student asks the master, you teach me to fight, but you talk about peace. How do you reconcile the two? And the master replied, it is better to be a warrior in the garden than a gardener in a war. And the whole book is about my struggles, the things I went through, how my parents protected me from those things rather than prepared me. And so that was an easy, easy uh, title for me. And it really just goes through struggling as a youth, being bullied, dealing with ADHD, suicidal ideation, religious judgment and just on and on through my struggles with school and thriving in sports and, you know, marriage and different things. And I feel like it's going to touch a lot of people's heart at least one time, if not 50. So Mm, um, a lot of, a lot of things in there and beautiful moments and scary moments. And it's a, everybody that I've talked to said they've cried multiple times, laughed multiple times and left the book feeling like they wish there were more. So Mm. that makes me feel good. 
Absolutely. How powerful is that? I love it. And I and I know on your journey for for those listeners who this is their first time meeting you, there was a moment that you had a conversation with your dad that really was a powerful shift in your journey and your story. Do you mind sharing a little bit about that? Yeah. So or, there was a time where I was I had just gotten out of rehab and I was feeling lonely and. I was complaining to him what I know now to be complaining. And mm-hmm. he asked me a simple question. He said, I have a daughter. Her name is Sophie. And he said, if a guy like you came into Sophie's life, would you let him let her date him? And I was like, heck no. <laughs> and I was like, ah. And he's mm-hmm. like, well, don't date and don't worry about people until the answer is yes. Mm-hmm. That really made me step forward and turn into the man that I would want, want my daughter to be with. And, that took about two years before I dated. <laughs> I had a lot of work to do, but it was a, an amazing experience when you can love the man in the mirror, and that took mm. me quite a while to do so. Mm. And that's a courageous journey to, you know, not escape, not hide, but to really face and become. Um, so I just yeah. I, I celebrate that, and thank you for sharing. And it gives our listeners just a little bit of a taste of some of what they'll discover in in your powerful book and some of those moments. Now, in writing a book, I know it's a journey, and there could yeah. be surprises along the way. Was there something in the process of writing or creating or publishing or launching that? surprised you and and now that you know it's something you'd like to let other writers and potential authors know yeah i think for me where i'm not an academic and when people i started a podcast because i don't like writing and i've been asked to write a book for the last decade and i'm like no every time i sat down and put pen to paper i'm like there's no way i have no idea how to do this and finally i reached out to a ghostwriter and she walked me through the steps, and if I would have known, if I would have known that was possible a decade ago, I would probably have three or four books out by now. Mm-hmm. But it's it it was amazing for me because I do have a story, one that needs to be heard and is going to resonate with a lot of people. So if there's anybody struggling with the writing portion and not knowing how to do that, there's a lot of amazing people out there who can help walk you through that. And it was the most amazing experience because I'm like, I can tell my story, but are they going to learn my voice? Are they going to be able to speak for me? And my work with Bridget was so amazing. It was probably the third chapter I was reading it. And I was like, this is freaky. Like she knows, she knows exactly how I think, how I feel. And we got in tune real quick. And from there on, it was just a, a smooth transition and, I had an amazing experience. Like, it's a Mm. lot, especially with the self-help and a memoir where you revisit some deep, dark places and some happy places and some loss. It was uh, probably 10 years worth of therapy and a year and a half of writing. (laughs) So (laughs) it uh, it was a good experience. Oh, I'm so glad. And what a gift to have support on that journey by an expert that is just able to hold that space and capture your voice and honor your story. I mean, that's such a gift and yeah. the side effect of getting that additional support in processing, too. <laughs> so, yeah, it was. Yeah. Bridget and Hannah were amazing. And mm-hmm. and uh, it was it was fun to have a team to help walk me through it. And, you know, one of the things I didn't understand is I'm I'm a storyteller. And I can mm-hmm. do that well. I've been speaking for a long time, but to, I wasn't aware that, like, when I'm speaking, I have body language and things like that. But to be able to tell a story as if somebody were blind, to get them to feel what you're feeling and smell what you're smelling and taste what you're tasting was a really cool experience. Mm. So a lot of new ways to do things, and it was a, a, a learning experience that I'll, I'll remember forever. Mm. So glad. Such a powerful and positive experience. Well, we are getting ready to go to our first commercial break. And as we do, listeners, I want you to think about, I love how Rob leaned into getting that support and really harnessing his gift of speaking and sharing and bringing in a team to help him capture his words and his heart and spirit so he could bring that book forward. I think it's great to look at 
where are you getting stuck if you are getting stuck and how you could get support to help you bring your message forward. I also love really facing himself. He He's done that so courageously in becoming that man he'd want his daughter to, to date and meet someday, you know, becoming that, facing that, going through his his courage and being willing to face some of those hard moments and relive some of them with the intent intention of really helping the reader learn from what he discovered and be empowered. So just some great things to think about and write your thoughts the next couple of minutes and we'll continue our conversation in just two minutes. Follow Voice America at Facebook.com forward slash Voice America for juicy updates from your favorite radio shows and podcasts. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Enjoying our shows and can't get enough of us? Follow us on Instagram at Voice America Talk Radio and see what we're cooking up for you. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes and the opportunity to think about some of what Rob has shared and just see how that might be inspiring you, encouraging you, touching your heart and your spirit. It's such a gift when you are willing to lean in and share your journey, share your story. When you feel that pull, you feel that call. It's because there's a need for your message, a need for your story. And I really encourage you to find that path forward for you. So discover if you are getting stuck, why and where, and see how you can bring in support because it is not a solo journey. I don't know where that myth got started, but it's just not true. Not a solo journey. You can lean in, you can get that support, and you can find a way to bring your message, your story forward. Oh, Rob, I was just thinking about some of the journey and your book becoming a number one international bestseller. We got to be on some of that journey with you. We also had the opportunity to read an advanced copy. And I will share, I was so powerfully moved and impacted by your story. So yes, I laughed, I cried, I was pulled in. There were so many things to think about and reflect on. And I also left very inspired. And I know that any reader out there who does lean in and get a copy will have an a powerful experience as well as they lean into your journey and your story. And I know that as you released your book, it went out into the world and it became a bestseller, then a number one bestseller, then an international, and then finally it became number one international bestseller. And I know it was quite a journey and it moved quickly. You ended up hitting four countries, bestselling status, 44 bestselling categories, nine of them ranking number one. And as you take a moment to just kind of feel that again, is there something that struck you about that day and bringing it forward that just sticks with you as you continue to bring all the different formats forward? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, pretty humbling. My 
my ghostwriter, she called me and she's like, hey, we need you pumped up. And I'm just kind of in shock. Like, I don't even know what to do here. Like, it was a, <laughs> it was a very humbling experience, but one that, that I know I've, I've traveled quite a bit of the world. And there's one thing that humans share in common, and there's only one thing, and that's struggle. And mm. it doesn't matter where you come from, people resonate with that. And they like to, to be able to read that they're not alone. And that just reassured me that, that I'm on the right track and, and being vulnerable is kind of the key of moving forward. So it's just been a really cool experience, especially for my mom was a little worried. She's older and pretty religious and, and that old mindset of keeping family secrets, things like that. But um, to see her friends being so proud of me and to let her kind of step out of some of that and let go of a lot of stuff. It's been really healing for my entire family. So it's just been just a really special experience. And if you know me, if you ever look me up, I'm covered from head to toe in tattoos and pretty big and a cage fighter, a tough guy. And, and it's just cool to see how many walks of life can identify and just look past all of that. And mm -hmm. It's a, yeah, it's a legacy that we'll leave and, and, uh, hopefully kind of starts the path for a lot of people to share their story. Mm -hmm. I, I believe everybody's got something that could, could change the world. And it usually comes from the things we're afraid to tell. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I just challenge anybody who's in that place of what if people find out that that's the exact book you should write. Mm. I love it. I think that's, I'm just giving that a moment to sink in. And a lot of times that we all, well, one, that we all have that ability and two, that it is frequently tied to that thing we're most afraid to tell and how powerful it would be if we did and we could lean in and share that. Now, you mentioned that it was a little bit, it was humbling, it was a little overwhelming, and your ghostwriter Bridget called and said, hey, we need you pumped up <laughs> and sharing. Um, do you mind sharing just a little bit more about that? Yeah, she called and she's like, hey, we got to talk. And it didn't sound like a congratulations call. She's like, hey, you're too quiet. You need to take down that last post and you need to get pumped up. And I was like, all right, well, my mom told me to be humble and not let my head get too big. So I was trying to honor that, but let's get wild, man. So, you know, you put in so much time and think of all these different places buying your book and it's, it's just a whirlwind of emotions, but it's exciting. And man, it's, it's still, still affects me every day when I get a new picture of somebody that bought 40 books and they're stacked up on their desk and they're telling me that they're going to give them out to all their clients. And it's, uh, yeah, mm. really cool experience. Mm. I'm so and glad. And thank you for sharing some of those moments <laughs> with us. <Yeah. laughs> uh, you got to, to bring your book so powerfully out into the world. I, I love it. I love it. Oh, I know that you wear many hats and this book is one way that you are bringing your messages forward and creating that legacy and impact. I'd love for you to share some of the the things that you do and some projects you're working on so that our listeners know all the different things they can follow about you. Yeah, so I do a lot of content creating on Instagram. I'm the tattooed life coach with the number eight at the end of it. We do a lot of stuff there. Um, my podcast is called stand and fight. I'll give you a little backstory on that. My dad passed away when I was nine months sober and we didn't have, we had maybe like two journal entries. We didn't have any recordings of his voice. So we kept his cell phone on for two years so we could call and hear the voicemail. And so I started thinking, and I was like, every time I thought of writing a book, I was like, I'm not a writer. So I started a podcast so that if something were to happen, my daughter could hear my voice. She knew I, what I stood for. And so I went on a podcast journey, and it was top 20 for 2020 in uh, mental health and suicide prevention stuff. And uh, it just comes down to, like, we, we've gone through these pains. Why would we not want to share that for, even if it's just for your kids, to show their kids and kind of passed down for generation to generation just to see what we went through and what life was like. And and then through this journey, I started a, a company called The Village Effect because I've been mm -hmm. life coaching and working with families and youth and schools, but it's gotten to a point where I can't do it by myself anymore. So 
I brought on a couple partners, and we have therapists and doctors and life coaches and a gym where we bring families in to kind of give them a family experience or make therapy cool rather than sitting on a couch. They can come in and learn how to box or learn how to lift weights or go rock climbing. So we want to make the, make being vulnerable and talking about real life a lot easier and not a taboo conversation. Okay. So, and recently got married and my wife's amazing and she's got a book coming out soon. <laughs> and it's just, uh, we're, we're planning on hitting a lot of stages and sharing our passion with the world. Mm, so the easiest way to it. keep up with me is mm-hmm. social media, um, Instagram, Rob Eastman on Facebook. And yeah, so um, if you wanted to reach out, you can reach out there or Rob Eastman And again, you can fall, you can listen to my podcast. It's called stand and fight. And it's, you can find it anywhere you listen to music. Beautiful. Well, thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. I'm excited about all the different ways that you are reaching families and helping youth and really committed to making a difference for generations to come. So I just celebrate and honor that. I'd love for you to share your book title one more time, where people can find it, and your website one more time, just in case anyone missed it. Yeah, it's Warrior in the Garden, and Mm -hmm. you can get it on Amazon. You can get it at Barnes & Noble online. And my website is robeastmancoaching.com. And we're going on a big school tour to junior highs, high schools, and colleges all over the country. And we're starting to book out of the country. So if you have or want us to come to your area, please reach out and we can work something out. Wonderful. Wonderful. I love it. Well, Rob, I just, again, thank you for joining us today. And as you reflect back on our conversation, is there any final thought or tip that you want to give our listeners today? You know, I've, it, it comes down to, I don't know you and I love you and I'm here for you. And I've got this tattoo that I always share. And it's what I named my podcast after. It's on my left bicep and it says, it's better to stand and fight. If you run, you only die tired. Mm-hmm. And I know when we get into the mental health thing, we feel like we're alone and we want to run from it. And we want to hide or we want to numb out. And I challenge you to stop with that. Reach out. Find those leaders in your area who can help you find and, and step into your true genius and know that you're not alone. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Rob, for sharing today, joining us. Congratulations on all of your success, all the different ways that you are leaning in to help so many people around the world. I just, it makes my heart happy, my spirit happy to see that. And I know that it's just building and it's going to continue to ripple out all the different ways that you're leaning in to serve and support. So thank you again for joining us today, Rob. I'm very grateful. Yeah. Thank you, and and you were amazing to work with. It made my life so much easier. So thank you for being so amazing, being such a great professional. Oh, thank you, Rob. It was my team's pleasure to to be on the journey with you and to share, and we love seeing the impact that is already happening and and just growing with all that you're leaning in and doing. So thank you. It was an honor. And listeners, I want to encourage you to take a couple moments at the end of today's show and just write down some of your thoughts, that reminder that you are not alone, that idea that you can reach out and get support and help on the journey, how important it is to bring your genius, your gifts forward. Take a couple moments, see how those things are hitting you, how the chord they might be striking and really honor that. Write down your thoughts. Reach out, get support. I encourage you to get a copy of Rob's powerful book. I know it'll add to your library. It'll encourage and inspire you. And for those of you who are looking for support on the journey that you're not quite sure some of those next steps, I want to let you know about a resource we have. It's called the Emerging Author Series. You can find it at emergingauthorseries.com, and that's plural, plural series. 
And it's a collection of ebooks that you can download as few or as many as you would like. And they all talk about myths and truths about publishing. I have an idea. Now what? What is publishing? How do I bring my book forward and launch? All the questions we get frequently every week, we put together a nice collection of resources to support you, inform you, and empower you. So I encourage you to lean in, check out those resources. We're always here to support you on your journey. And we're going to encourage you to keep writing, keep reading, and find a way to keep taking steps on your powerful journey. Have a great week, everyone, and we'll talk to you next time. Thank you for tuning in to The Author's Journey. Please join Rebecca Hall Greider for another edition of the Author's Journey podcast every Monday on the Voice America Variety Channel. And until we talk again, use some of the tips and inspiration from today's show to guide you as you lean in to bringing your message forward. 